new SUV comes with a drone. Nissan has decided to equip its latest X-Trail SUV with a Follow Me drone as one of its extra options to be sold in the UK. The Nissan X-Trail SUV comes with a Parrot Bebop 2 drone as part of an optional package. The drone has a remote control and a headset. The drone is equipped with visual tracking technology, so it can autonomously follow users on the move. Nissan said the drone can be used separately to record other outdoor activities, such as canoeing and cycling. The company has not said whether the optional drone package will be available in the U.S. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Hey, check out these other cool drones. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add-on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing. Selfie Drone Recognizes Faces A Chinese startup has developed a drone equipped with facial recognition technology that can be used to take aerial selfie shots. The hover camera passport can fly up to 17 miles per hour and climb as high as 16 feet. The device can be remotely controlled by a smartphone. One battery charge powers up to 10 minutes of flight time. The camera can capture images from all angles and automatically follows the user using its face detection software. The Hover Camera Passport retails for $599, US which is much cheaper than other drone cameras on the market with similar functions. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. China unveils the first drone that is capable of carrying a passenger. A Chinese company has revealed what it says is the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle, or AAV, which is a drone capable of carrying a human passenger. Guangzhou company Yihang unveiled the Yihang 184 supersized single-seater quadcopter this week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The Yihang 184's aluminum frame and composite body carry eight 142 horsepower motors to power its eight propellers, with two situated on each of the drone's four arms. It takes between two to four hours to charge. According to the company, the user can simply get in, power up the drone, select a destination, and the device will take care of everything else. It can fly a 264-pound passenger up to an altitude of around 11,000 feet, 
traveling at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour for up to 23 minutes, with a maximum range of around 10 miles. Navigation and collision avoidance is taken care of by the drone's range of built-in sensors and computer systems. Once passengers arrive at their destination, the drone's rotor arms can be folded up for convenient storage. The manufacturer says the drone will be commercially available later this year, with a price somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000. It's now working towards getting certification from the FAA. What are you waiting for?